Partitions have been limited upon where I placed them. Okay, Father. But we do have money for But, Father, as you know, I don't have anything to do with the tomato. And they might just get me killed or beaten and thrown somewhere else. That's right. The same. Take this as a sign of royalty. Once they see you, they will tremble. They will bow at your feet. They will respect you. Okay, Father. I will do everything accordingly. And I will make sure I do it with no delay. That's right. But remember, the master of these tormentors does not rest. Neither does he sleep. He doesn't even go on break. Father? You have to be very, very careful. I'm saved. I can do anything. Father, just leave everything. I'm, I will make sure I do everything accordingly. You see, you have to be very, very careful. Because the master of these tormentors does not rest. Neither does he sleep. He doesn't even go on break. You have to be very, very careful. No problem, Father. Trust me, I will do it. Remember, the adversary does not rest. Neither does he sleep. They don't go on break. You want to be very, very careful. you to ask me such question. Oh my bad, sorry. I'm Jessica and I live close by. Good so, morning, can you tell me what you're up to this afternoon? I'm on a mission. A mission? Yeah. To do what? To go and save, to go and save someone from the oppressors, right? Yeah. Save? Yeah. Like this? No what weapon? Is, what is wrong with it? Come on, don't tell me you're going to fight a battle like this. Without any, do you want to die like a fowl? Come on, the battle is not for the weak. So, are you telling me that I'm weak? Yes, of course, you're not going to the battle with any weapon. You're just going dressed shabbily like this. Like this? Yes. Come on. <laughs> then, what do you want me to do? I can give you some weapons. Weapon? Of course. You? What do you have that you can give me? Good question. I have weapons I can give you to win this battle you are going for. Are you not talking about... Um, winning, saving oppressors or something. Come on, trust me, I can give you weapons. Weapons? Of course. Like serious? Yes. But it comes with the cost. What? Nothing comes for free. What is that? Um, you just have to give me that bead on your neck. Bead? And that of your hand. Yes, it is just a bit. Come on. And you are going to give me weapons. I'm going to weapons. give you weapons. Like, you are going to use to win this battle. Just these two bits. Yes, just those two bits. Yeah. All right. Do you? All right. Okay. Good boy. Take that. And this will give you power to win the battle. Yeah. Thank you very much. You, so, have, you have so much work. All right. Let me just be on my way, you know. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. You're welcome. But you live around. Of course, sure. You can always see me anytime. All right.
right. Take care. Bye. Bye. And delivered the oppressed. <laughs> but you have gone back, gone out there and came back with disgrace and shame. You have been oppressed yourself. Look at the way you are battered and maltreated. But you are saved. So many Christians today have brought back shame, disgrace, and have been a tragedy <laughs> to the kingdom. They have been sent out to deliver. They have been saved and been sent out to rise and save others. But they themselves have become victims in the hands of the enemy. They have been oppressed and tormented likewise. It is a pity. The saved, you need to go back there and save the oppressed. You are going out there again to deliver the tormented. These things, these things you call weapons, you need to go back, fight and get them back. This what white right belongs to you. So much have been invested in you. You can't be all profitable. You have to rise up now. Go back there. Rise up for the salvation of others. Go and deliver the oppressed. Go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Bye. 